So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to back into right here. I got an awful close to this freaking mailbox. So I'll just straighten up and then I'll do a hard blindside back. All the old Dominion guys are unhooking their, uh, their doubles. You can see one down there. And there's some of them are turning around, some of them are turning around here. Well, hello, it's me from the future as I'm editing this vlog. Uh, the first four clips that I recorded, I didn't have the microphone plugged in all the way, so dang it. Yeah, that's the twice now that I've done that, just not paying attention. What I was saying was I wasn't going to film in the morning. I was just driving from the truck stop, driving to the terminal in Conley. The um, problem arose is when I pulled onto the Conley Street, Conley Road, I think it's Conley Road, there's train tracks down at like the bottom of the hill and you can't really see them, it's down around a curve. There was trucks backed all the way up and like I pulled in, got in line, I sat there for 30 minutes thinking there was something going on or there was a train and it was slowly going by. Uh, I eventually got out of a truck, the old Dominion guy in front of me, he was walking towards me. He had been there, he told me he'd been there for two hours and that the train has just been sitting on the tracks for two hours. I said, dang. So trucks all the way at the bottom of the hill were like turning around in this guy's driveway and he like slowly making the way back. And it's legit just a driveway. Um, most of the trucks were old Dominion trucks, the doubles, so they could break apart and make the turn a lot easier than a sleeper cabs. From what I understand, uh, a guy in a sleeper cab tried doing the same maneuver. And when he got turned around in the driveway, his rear bumper on the trailer, that ICC bumper, it grabbed the guy's fence, whoever lives down there, grabbed his fence and it ripped his fence up. Well, when it ripped the fence up, it also pulled up underground wire. And he didn't see that and drug that wire all the way out of the ground, all the way up across the street. Needless to say, we had the, tra the train and now we have the, um, the live wire and the fence going across. So now 911 had to be called. The guy in front of me, the old Dominion driver, he called 911 and said, hey, there's live wire out on the road. A rail driver in front of me knew another way in. So there's another, there's a back way in that just got open from Old Dominion. They just pay, uh, paid to have the road go all the way through. So he made that turn, he got around and he went that way and he called me once he got there and said, hey man, it is open. Uh, so me, myself and the Old Dominion guy in front uh, he broke his trailer down and got turned around and I I backed up into that um, driveway on the right it wasn't a driveway it was like a is an entrance to somewhere and uh yeah crazy morning it was supposed to be just an hour drive super simple drop the trailer off turn into this whole like three and a half hour fiasco anyway back to your regular scheduled program these cars here that I got to look out for as I'm backing up because they're just flying down here trying to get around all these trucks now I have to wait. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, there's cars just starting to, they're starting to pull into this freaking road here. To end, oh my God. They, like flying by me, just flying by me. Oh, people. Well, <laughs> I made it. I got I, another driver came out of that yard that I was backing into and he, uh, he helped me back in cause it was a hard blind side with a ditch on the uh, left hand driver's side got here i don't even know two and a half hours three hours late so i just ran into maintenance real fast it's raining again and um let them know that i was here on the computer so hopefully i get a text or a call here soon i'm running in and grabbing a shower and uh i'm just gonna sit inside and do some laundry too i definitely gotta do some laundry truck is done shaved and shower got my laundry done which is awesome it's nice to be able to do that stuff for free it's 145 got my truck back into the uh, bobtail um little parking lot here i am in here um time to do some kind of lunch or something i got john wick 2 on i gotta finish it i've seen them before but uh, i keep falling asleep at night watching this i don't know why i have violent dreams but uh yeah i do got this little guy here the my mini egg cooker if you like hard-boiled eggs, this thing is the way to go, man. You just pour a little bit of water in it, and um, yeah, you just take this little guy here. There's a little sharp little needle there, and you just prick the top. Prick the top of them right there. Pour the amount of water it says in there. If you want it hard-boiled, soft-boiled, medium, fill that up to that line, put it on, turn it on. Little power button. When the alarm goes off, they're done. You're supposed to throw them in ice water afterwards. Ah! 
there's the alarm. So yeah, you spritz throw them in ice water, but I don't have ice water, so I'm just gonna chuck them in the freezer. I'm gonna put them in this guy and just put them in the freezer for, I don't know, five to 10 minutes. Then I'll pull them back out and let them sit for a little while and I'll peel some, eat some, and then throw the rest in the fridge. Oh, and also, I don't have a load right now. Called the weekend fleet manager and they're, you know, the guy said, hey, you wanna, I see you, I've been on my 10 hours for half the day already. Do you wanna leave out in the middle of the night? And uh, although I love leaving out at like three or four in the morning, midnight just, I don't know. I feel like if I left out at like midnight by three or four o'clock in the morning, I'm falling asleep and that's just not safe for me at all. So I'm just not even gonna risk it. So I asked him if he could just push it till like a three or 4 a.m. start time. And uh, hopefully I'll get alerted this evening and I can start pre-planning for it. I got finished John Wick 2 and 3 and I'm gonna try to find 4, cause 4 is out somewhere, I gotta find that. Also, it's still freaking overcast. It's not raining right now for the first time in five days, but um, it's it's so dark and dreary. I don't, I'm tired, man. I, this is my sixth day in a row of like, what about, I've been doing what, 12 hour, 13 hour days? Eggs are all done, all cleaned up. Seinfeld on in the background. Classic, absolutely love Seinfeld. Love Kramer, got my next load. I'm uh, heading back to Pennsylvania. I'm on the fence on this one. One, it's 800 mile run, so I'll take it. But I'm, I'm heading to, uh, I'm just heading like 50 miles over. I'm going around Atlanta and getting to um, Winder, Georgia at a uh, John Manville Manning Drayage. It's a big warehouse, it looks like from Google Maps anyway. And then I'm taking that bad boy, I'm going all the way up. And then I'm hopping on 77, I'm hopping on 81. I'm taking 81 all the way to um, Pittstown, PA, to, uh, I can't even read my own handwriting, Qualflex, Qualflex Goodman or something like that. It's above Allentown, I've seen that much. I'm not happy with Allentown, but it's above that. One side, I don't wanna go back up there because I'm afraid I'm gonna get freaking stuck up there for a couple of days. But on the other side, I'm taking 81 literally all the way up and I'm getting off 81 and, and the warehouse is right there. So shouldn't be that bad. I don't have to deliver until Tuesday, 9 a.m. unload. Tomorrow morning will be early. I gotta be over at this place in Winder, Georgia at 5.45 a.m. So it will be an early morning. I still gotta pick up a trailer here, but um, I'm gonna really just take my time getting up to uh, Pittstown. I got like two full days to drive, 700 miles. I'll take it. It's a, like an 800 and some mile run all, all together. That's a good way to start the pay week. I really hope I don't get stuck up in PA. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think, I think I left four eggs. I think I left four eggs. Yeah, I left four eggs. I think I might do a smoked sausage and eggs for dinner. Yeah, smoked sausage and eggs sounds good. Wish I had some toast, mm, some bread. 